Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Let us start for our third meeting for today. That we are going to continue to our reading class for the next meeting. So that's why this is for the last chance, the last turn for us for speaking for professionals contacts with Miss Patricia. This is the third meeting for us so that's why while waiting for the other joining the zoom we are going to start our class today are you re ready all ready ma'am ready okay, ma'am good Okay, we start directly. We move to Patricia. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming here. This is our third uh, meeting or session. And remember what we've been, been talking about? Just I want to share my screen with you. Uh, just for a second. Okay. Right, here we go. Um, I've changed my, my presentation, hope you like it. Um, all right, so we were talking about uh, speaking in professional context for the last two weeks. This is our last session on that. And remember, just um, as a summary, the first session we talked about uh, the big the jump start, how to start with a band, yeah, with, um, and I gave you also some tips. Session number two, uh, how to structure your presentation or your speaking, uh, either if you are giving a presentation, if you are speaking in public, or if you are speaking to your professor at university, academic purposes, etc. cetera. Um, also how to organize your presentation or your speaking. Yeah, remember clear objectives, um, structure, yeah, and some tips on how to do that. Today, I would like you to focus on two things. First of all, body language. Body language is important. And second of all, finish with a bank okay how to finish like a wow a superstar okay so today we are going to deal with these two things so i have a question for you and the question is what is body language for you so if you can unmute your microphones please and and just let me know what do you understand for body language there are no yes or no answers just let me know or if you are shy just write it down on the chat box please just i'll allow you a few minutes to decide what body language is or what you think body language is and uh, either unmute your microphones or right on the chat box. Anyone wants to share the opinion? No? Okay, class, go on. Give your opinions. What do you think of body language? Maybe Sulitawati, can you give your opinion? Sulitawati. <laughs> okay. No. No. Somebody. Desi Nurma, maybe. Desi Nurma. Please unmute or write down for the other if you want to give opinion in write in written things you can write on the chat book yeah on the chat exactly if you feel that you don't want to mm. speak in public write on the chat box 
Okay, we have an answer here. Hey, Somebody says, they, thank you, Faiza, that used to communicate using hand gestures or facial expressions. Okay. Yeah, correct. Nonverbal communication. Thank you very much, Salz Bella. Yeah, correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody else wants to share the opinion? Desi, oh. okay. Desi, Desi, raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> Don't be shy, go on. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Patricia. Good, good afternoon, honor. Desi. Uh, good afternoon also, Mem Yentri Angraini. Uh, how are you today, guys? <laughs> very well, very well. How are you, Desi? <clears throat> Very well, thanks. Uh, then I want to answer the question from Miss Patricia about what is body language for you. I will try my best to answer the question. Okay. Um, for me, it's about lang body language is how you appreciate, want to tell what you want to tell about something like example is the phone i want to explain to my friend what kind of mobile phone is this so uh -huh. it's what how you appreciate how you tell about what kind point that you want to tell to everyone for me that is about the long end uh -huh. mm. for me is body language when you don't know how to spell, when you don't know how to speak in the public, especially like me, body language can tell you. Okay, like, uh, how to say, uh, apa ya? <laughs> apa? If, you, if you want to raise your hands. Like, raise your hand. So, body language tell you that you don't know how to, but you can Tell from your body that you want to answer the question, something like that. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Desi, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, after this session, you will be able to work on your body language. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have another answer here from Sulita Exchange. A thoughts and ideas in which the message convey can be in the form of gestures, facial okay. expressions, eye gaze, okay. touch, artifacts, silence, time sound, as well as posture and body movement. Yeah. yeah, correct. And the process of communicating through movement. All right. Yeah. Okay. I love these ideas. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes. So here, um, these are complementing what you have just said, all right, very correctly. Um, here we have what body language is. It's part of a nonverbal communication. Somebody mentioned nonverbal communication. is the combination of movement, gestures, and postures. And is the way a speaker talks, moves, and looks on the stage, if the person is on, if you are on the stage or if you are talking to uh, somebody else in professional context or even uh, informal context as well. Many people think that body language is only the way uh, you position yourself, yeah, when we you are talking to another person. This is a big part, but there's much more because body language shows your confidence, yeah? And your body language can make or break your presentation if we are talking about a presentation or whatever, yeah? The right attitude gives you an air of authority, which supports your story. That's why body language is extremely important as well as what you have to say to the audience, okay? So don't forget about that. Is Body language is an essential part of public speaking confidence or success, 
yeah, uh, sorry, um, uh, adding people. So non, your nonverbal cues will impact on the way your message is received, how engaged your audience is, and what they think of you as an individual, right? Even, for example, if you're prepared, if you have prepared the best speech in the world, if you aren't animated, if you are and maybe your posture is like this or you're crossing your arms, then people won't believe what you are saying, okay? So now I'm we are going to um, discuss, I'm going to show you these pictures here guys yeah and look at these pictures and think about what the message these people are sending us imagine you see these people over here what is the message what 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 are your ideas what are your thoughts about these people okay can we work in i'm going to give you five minutes maybe you can take a picture if you want or a screenshot um, and can we work in breakout rooms, Gentry? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Eddie, so, uh -huh. dibagi ke breakout room. Siap siap enam ya. Enam ya. Yeah. Yes, we can have maybe. Uh, oh, okay. Sudah bu, sudah, sudah, sudah saya buatkan. Yeah. Are you going to put them in breakout rooms? Okay. Or is it me? I, I don't know. Okay. So I can see that people are being um, assigned to breakout rooms. Perfect. Mm. Okay. So I'm repeating. So look at these pictures. Mm. Yeah. Think about what message these people are sending to you some people are very well known some others no um, but think about that And of course, decide which is your favorite. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to be in five, but then I'm, I'll be jumping around the breakout rooms. Okay. Right. Shall we open the, um, the breakout rooms, Gentry? Yes. Okay. Ready? Yeah, exactly. You have five mm -hmm. minutes, more or less, to talk about all these pictures. Yeah. And to think about the messages these people are sending to us. Okay. Okay, shall we shall we send them to breakout rooms? Can we open okay. the breakout rooms? So more or less we have some people. Okay. Room one, there's only one person. Mm -hmm. they, okay. they, they leave their room. 
Oh, they left the room. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Okay. So can we can we send everybody to breakout rooms? I'll be jumping around. Okay. Or oh, are they and already in breakout rooms? Yeah. Ah, yes, they are in breakout rooms. Okay, great. Excellent. Good. Right, so um, let me see if I can go to, oh uh, yeah, I can, I can, I'm going to pop in and out okay. of the rooms, okay, so, okay, I'm going to start with number six. Is La Latifa is not joining the breakout room, is La? Oh, no, 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 she's muted and she, she's got a picture, and then we have Aju as well, chattering. Oh, no. All right, okay, so I'll, I'll get into the six. Catherine and Isla Latifa. Isla Latifa, yeah. please join. Join the room. Isla, are you here? Posisi di mana, Mam Yen? Di ruang rapat, Edi. Oh, ruang rapat. Hmm. Edi di mana? Di rumah? Di MRC. MRC. Islatifa ini nggak bisa digabung ya, Pak Edi ya? Islatifa ini sudah saya masukkan di room satu, wow. tapi, kayak, uh, yeah. tapi kayaknya ada masalah jaringan kayak ini. Yeah. Yeah.
Hello, everyone. Are we back? I think some people are coming back. Yeah, lately. Okay. Good. Yes. All right. I think they are coming back. Okay, right. How many people are we? <laughs> okay, 14. Right. So guys, tell me, um, what messages are these people sending us? You can, you can either unmute your microphone or write down on the chat box if it works better for you. Yeah, any idea, for example, this one, okay? With your hands like this or open, what does it mean? What do you feel about it when you see a person doing this? Miss, Miss yes. Patricia? Yes. Yeah, uh, I try to figure out the gesture. Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, the gesture will, um, will make the signal that trying to make people agree with uh with our with our statement mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay yeah it's a good thing yes what about so it's like so it's like to manipulate the mindset from the others oh okay uh-huh <laughs> okay Right, yes, as you can see, if you pay attention next time you watch the television and you see the politicians maybe from your country or around the world, they do this all the time. It means that also they want to make sure you agree with what they are saying, okay? Good, all right. What about this person here, this girl? Um, what does uh, that mean? Not, uh, the gesture about the not agree about the statement that already told. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Any other idea? How do you think she's feeling? Okay, we have someone saying, okay, uh, Faisal says she looks in a bad mood. Yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. That she doesn't want to be where she is. Yeah, like she looks bored maybe or she doesn't agree with what people are saying. Okay, what about this person, this lady here? <clears throat> Any idea? Is she happy? What, what does she make you feel? Huh? You can write down on the chat box if you don't want to speak. Hey, Desi. Any idea? Oh, okay, here, Desi. Desi, you raise your hand. Hello, Miss. Hello. Yeah. One of them is look like Barack Obama, is it? Ah, yeah, here. Okay, Barack Obama, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the gesture is he's happy. It's because look like he doing speech on the public. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, he's happy because maybe he's uh, uh, telling something to the audience and maybe get back, get feedback, uh, some sentences maybe. So they, uh, he's very happy. Then the Donald Trump look like angry because he's, uh, menjelaskan apa ya? Uh, look like explain something 
um, on the public too on yeah. this uh-huh yes go on go on then that, that's good. Okay, somebody else here says the meaning we see from the picture is a form of body gesture that is being done by someone to explain something to the audience with the hands as props with the intention that he conveys can be clearly accepted by the audience. Okay, yeah, thank you, Erica. Right, good. Very good. All right, I think you, you're getting here. Very good. Okay, we are going to move on. Um. Before talking about um, what is to be done, yeah, I would, I would like you to think about gestures that are very negative for your public speaking or when you speak in professional context. So it's really important posture, yeah? If you, you need to uh, stand up straight. If you're like this, mm -mm. Adopting a weak or unbalanced stance is not good for you. You are showing that you don't believe what you're saying if you're like this. But if you yeah, stand straight, then you show that, oh, yeah, this person is believing what his or she is saying. Okay. Also, remember, close gestures is a sign of insecure public speaking. If you're folding your hands, means that you are that you don't believe what you're saying or that you are lying or that you are bored and you don't want to be there. So be careful with that, okay? Another one, poor use space, command the room. Remember the other day when we said, walk the talk. If you are on a stage, don't sit behind the podium, don't sit behind the desk walk around it gives you a great attitude that you are owning the room okay lack of eye contact look at the people okay look at the people in general look at uh, make eye contact is really important to connect with the people inappropriate use of hand gestures okay be careful with your hands uh, try to do this if you um, for example, next time you talk to a friend or you talk to somebody else or with your professor, maybe uh, fold your hands or put your hands in your pocket or put your hands behind your back. And you will see that the other person unconsciously feels a bit mm, awkward, a bit unsettled. But if you now we are going to see what to do. But if you open your palms, if you open your hands, then the person will feel more relaxed okay so be careful with that um okay let's continue if you please if you have any questions uh let me know write it down on the chat okay um okay you need to listen so no no listening not listening to the audience not looking at the audience is bad is a bad uh body language if you speak too fast as well if you move your legs yeah, because you are nervous. Mm, no, try to relax. If you if you are talking to someone face to face and you invade the personal space, the other person might feel like threatened. So be careful with that. Keep your distance. Okay. Um, and and more or less, this is something that you need to avoid in order to have. Not to have, yeah, not to have a good body language. Okay, now we are going to have to see. Any any questions so far? People, something that you don't understand? This this is all the things that you need to avoid, yeah, in non-verbal communication. No? Questions? Well, you can have questions at the end if you want. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at speak for success. You might not realize it but you are presenting all the time, yes? When you are speaking to your friends and family, when you're speaking to your professor, when you're giving a presentation, even when you are now, we, we are in Zoom, yes? You are presenting all the time. So you need to consider all these cues, okay? All right, 
So next time you present, think about this. Open palms. Remember like Steve Jobs, he was a genius of presentations, yeah? So right from the start, show your palms, yeah? This is an absolutely essential to do, especially in video calls that what we are doing at the moment because it's even harder to build rapport with that person, right? So you can try it. Um, yes, this is, this is something that I would like you to ask. When you finish this session, maybe uh, next time you have a class uh, or next time you are in a presentation, show your palms, yeah? And another time, put your palms deep in your pocket or maybe at the back as I said before. So we'll see the reaction of people and conscious reaction of these people. And you will see the difference between them. Okay. Um, all right. Number two, give the eyebrow flush, which is this. Okay. So your eyebrows go up. Like if you are, remember when you are walking down the street or you are walking in the classroom and you bump into someone that you know, it's like, Hi, mm -hmm. how are you? How are you doing? Okay, this is to show, yes, that you are with this person, that you, uh, that you say hello to this person. And obviously this eyebrow flash that you do should be together with a genuine smile. Mm -hmm. That you mean that you really mean it. Yes, that you are enjoying what you are doing how to know if the person is genuinely smiling. I, well, you can see this. If I smile and you can see wrinkles around my eyes, I'm genuinely smiling, okay? Yes, as Desi, you're doing, you're genuinely smiling. I can see you're, even though you're very young, but I can see some wrinkles here, yeah? Means that you are genuinely smiling. And so the other person feels good when you are smiling take up a space as i said before walk the talk don't hide behind the podium don't hide behind the desk just walk around the room you will feel more empowered remember the i don't know if you watched the video from amy cardi this posture starfish yeah breathing in breathing out it's important uh, as I mentioned, don't hide, yes? Get closer to the person if you want to talk to this person, but do not invade the personal space. If someone wants to tell you something forward lean, it means that you are interested. Like, oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. It's really interesting, yeah? Okay. Um, it's really, really important as well. It means that you are showing interest. Okay, another one, vocal variety. What is that? Vocal variety. This is something that I usually do if I'm, do if I'm giving a presentation is your voice is also part of your body language, your non-verbal communication. Well, even though it's verbal, but it shows, yeah, how you feel at that moment. So, before giving a presentation, it's a good idea, especially if you're nervous, it's a good idea to do vocal warm up. And what you can do is like warm up your vocals doing, mm, yeah, different kinds of, mm, just um, warming up your voice and your vocals. Okay, that's it. It sounds silly but it really works. So my um, advice to you is next time you are is presenting something, do these things, okay? Or try, if you want to try them, like an experiment, if you want to experiment what we, with what you are saying, um, try to do it today after this session with your friends, with your family, then at a university. Try to do it and try to... Um, observe, reflect, and evaluate what people's reactions are, okay? And then you, like, you can let me know. All right. 
Any questions so far? Doubts, questions? Something that is not understood, something that you would like to share with everyone here? You can unmute the microphone or write on the chat if you are a bit shy. No? Is everything clear? Do you think you can put this into practice? <laughs> Very good, Desi. All right. <laughs> okay. Somebody else? No? I think clear. Yes, somebody is. Sorry, I can't see you all. So who's speaking? Yes? Yeah, I think clear. But uh, can you repeat again how uh, the way we warm up our voice? Because yes. Really interest. Yeah, okay. So um, imagine you have a, um, a big presentation or you are talking to a person that makes you feel a bit anxious and your voice is trembling. It's not as usual. So what you're doing is warming up. You can do mm, mm, like the singers, you know? Imagine you're a singer. So you say mm, 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 mm. So your voice goes up and down. You mm, 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 mm. and so you work with your stomach and your breathing. Yeah, exactly. So you it's like breathing in, mm, breathing out. Mm, mm, yeah, three, four times, five times before your presentation. And remember the. Star, starfish posture, remember? Exactly, like this, yeah? This posture will give you power, the power pose that you are going to do well in this presentation or this conversation with a person, yeah? Okay, thank you, Miss. No problem. Anyone else has another question? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I would like you to share something with you that I, I send it to Madam Gentry, but she's going to send it to you. Um, I have a video for you that you can watch after this session. Um, this is a video, and here you have the link, yeah? Um, this is a, a coach, yeah? A body language coach that will give you some time tested tips on gestures and body language. So I think it's very important to watch the video. The video is about three minutes, I think. Um, so while you do the video, yes, read the questions or the statements and decide which is the correct option, A, B, or C, right? Try to watch it, analyze it, copy, yeah, what the person is saying, put this advice into practice next time you have a presentation, right? And here, this, you have two more questions to, uh, to think about, yeah? Do you tend to use a lot of hand and body gestures when speaking in public? Also, hand gestures, uh depends on the culture for example in my culture i use a lot of hand gestures okay this is my culture but in some others no so it depends observe yourself i think it's very important if you observe reflect and evaluate you can video record yourself and then analyze it yeah uh, and think about that uh, in the video, we are going to learn about descriptive, empathic, and suggestive gestures, okay? What is that? Think about it. And number three is, do you have any nervous mannerisms when you're speak speaking in public? Some people, when, you get, when you're nervous, for example, me, when I get nervous, I touch my hair all the time, yes? Or I just rub my, uh, my ears. Depends. Think about think about what you do when you feel nervous or anxious, or anxious when you're speaking in public or a difficult conversation, right? 
Okay. You can train your body language. Remember that. It needs practice, 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 practice. This is the, the thing. All right. So you can do this um, at home if you want. Watch the video, three, four minutes. And then here you have the answers. Okay. Try to make sure not to look at the answers before watching the video. That's all. All right. Let's continue. Any more questions, guys? No? Everything okay? Right. So let's continue now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Let's continue. And now we are going to, we talked about, ah, sorry, I forgot. The most important thing is have fun when you are speaking, right? It's the most important thing. It's like, remember, your goal is, uh, it has to be as a, you need to be a captivating presenter, yes? You have to give information, but I would say your second job there is to be an entertainer, yes? Remember to engage the audience and have fun when giving your presentation. Your audience will appreciate it and you will feel a bit freer, okay? So uh, the most important thing, have fun, enjoy it, because if you enjoy it, the audience will enjoy it as well and you will be remembered, okay? So... This is the part of the body language, which I consider also extremely important, or as you said, uh, is part of the non-verbal communication. We need verbal communication, what we are saying, the information we are saying, and the non-verbal communication is also important. It shows how we are feeling at this moment. All right, now we are have to, um, I have a question for you. Which areas, area or areas of your non-verbal cues, your non-verbal communication, do you need to improve? Think about that. Think for one minute and write it down on the chat. It's not necessary um, to, well, if you want to speak out, that's fine. If not, then just write it down on, on the chat. Just one line, a phrase. Yeah, oh, I need to work on my hand gestures or I need to work on my posture because I'm always like this um, or yeah I need to train my voice to sound more um, safer and um, I don't know what what do you feel guys what do you feel that you need to improve or maybe no you are a fantastic presenter and it's like yeah no whatever I don't need to present anything or I, I don't need to improve anything Any ideas? Anything that you need to improve? No, nothing? You're fantastic presenters. Great, good to know. You don't feel nervous, you don't feel anxious. Okay, somebody, let's see, somebody saying, I need to speak slowly because sometimes I feel speak fast because I'm nervous. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Faisa, for that. Yeah. Um, breathing in and breathing out will help you to control uh, your nerv nervousness. I think I have to practice reverse my, my nervousness. Okay. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Luf. Yes, thank you for that. Um, yeah, exactly. Another another way, another advice is breathing in, breathing out. It will help you to control your nervousness. Yeah, right. Anything else? Anybody else? No. All right. Let's move on then. Uh, but think it, this is an, a good exercise. Think about the areas that you need to improve. All right. Okay, let's move on. Now, can you think of ways to finish your presentation? We talked about jump start in session number two, session number two, the body of the presentation. And now we are talking about the end of the presentation, which is as important as the other 
two stages in the presentation. Can you think of ways of finish your presentation with a bang? Like, wow, yeah, I love this. Okay, think of, uh, I, Desi says, I uh, think I need more, make a good sentence because I do it sometimes not really clearly. Okay, what you say is not clear. All right, very good. Structures, your, your speaking is good, yeah? All right, so let's think about ways of, okay, another person is saying, sometimes my intonation is very annoying, I have to fix it, okay, right, okay. Uh, yeah, you can work on that. You can work on your voice. Um, I would say that the key, the most important thing is practice, practice, practice. Yes, video record yourself. Um, watch it, watch the video. Say, yes, I need to improve this. I need to improve that. Have a, a partner, a colleague to, to, to give you feedback, critically, of course. Um, yeah. This is good. All right. So we are going now to talk about finish your presentation with a bank. Yeah, with a bank. Something like, yeah, I love this presentation. Yeah. Whenever we give a presentation or we speak in public, the audience will have to remember that. And if the, if the audience remember what we said, then it's a bank. Yes. So here we have some ideas on how to finish our presentation with a bank, right? First of all, briefly summarize your key points. Remember that um, it's a good idea, yeah, to summarize what we have done in what you have talked about yeah. So whether your presentation is face to face or is online, yeah, it's good to leave the audience feeling inspired and clear. So a good way to do this is summarizing your key points. And when you summarize, you repeat. Yeah. Remember um, last session that we talked about the rule of three three words or three phrases that you always repeat. Well, this is the same thing. You repeat something from the beginning, yes, um, as a conclusion. So the audience will say, ah, okay, imagine that you need to, some, you are telling a friend, what was the presentation about? Oh, we talk about this, this, and this. Okay, three points, the rule of three, fantastic. Okay, so you summarize, the key points, you repeat these key points, yeah? So this the audience will remember that. And then have a call to action. A call to action is here, is take the opportunity to make it clear to the audience when you want them to do something as a result of listening to your presentation. Yeah, but you need to be specific. For example, my call to action to you is, guys, try to use all these details or all these tips that I have given you in these three uh, sessions. Next time you have a presentation, next time you have a conversation, put this into practice. This is my call to action. Yeah, I would like you to put all this into action next time you have a presentation. Um, all right, another way of finishing is using quote. Yeah, you know, somebody saying something important, saying something. Yeah, a strong quote can be a simple and effective way to end a presentation. So you need to find this is important. You need to find a quote that supports your message. Okay. Then you can use images. For example, uh, if you use images to end your presentation, you could leave the audience with an image to consider. And again, 
it needs to support the message that you want to get across, that you want to tell the audience. And sometimes it needs to be original as well. Yeah. And the last tip is why not using quizzes? Yeah. So, for example, instead of inviting people to ask you questions, what about you asking them questions, asking the audience questions in, for example, in a way of you can have a short quiz, yeah, which is interactive, fun, and I will help you, um, it will help your presentation to stand out from the others, and it also enables you to assess how well you have got the message across, how well the people understood the, what you were saying, right? And here, as I want to finish with a quote, because I love quotes, here, this is my quote for you. All speaking is public speaking, whether it's to one person or to a thousand. Yeah, so remember this, whenever you are speaking, yeah, be conscious about your, the message that you are saying, yeah, how clear it is, your body language, how your, your body language should be aligned, yeah, should be a balance with what you are saying. If you're saying, oh yeah, I'm having fun, do you think my body language is aligned with what I'm saying? No, on the contrary. So he says, oh, yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah. Um, so it needs to be aligned. So everyone understood or understands what you want to say and the message. All right. Doesn't matter if you're talking to one person or doesn't matter if you're talking to a thousand people. That's all. All right. And for me is I've done i'm finished thank you very much with, for this um if you have any questions you can write to me hello at excelmentary.com uh, for more tips on teaching as well uh, i'm on instagram or facebook and excel mentory so now if you have any questions for you if you have any questions for me something that is not clear please let me know yes and i'll be happy to answer them something that is not clear, something that you would like to share, something that you've learned from the videos that we watched or the materials I gave you. Um, another thing that I would like to share with you is the following. Let me share the screen here. Okay, I put together a list of phrases that you can use for your presentations, either if it's to one person or to a thousand people, as I said before, yeah? Um, so phrases for the beginning, yeah? Some languages, uh, for example, welcoming your audience, outlining your structure, yes? And here you have some sentences, the timing, yeah? giving instructions in the middle, something that you would like to add, yeah? The, the body of your presentation, which is the most important, the, one of the most important parts, but not all. Um, how to finish one subject and then moving on to another. Um, how to order, sequence, something that you want to say, giving examples, emphasizing, uh, when you want to repeat and, so you can use different phrases, yeah? Um, what else? Out here, tripling, chunking three ideas together. Remember the rule of three, yes? Um, if you want to paraphrase, yes, yeah, so put something in another way. Uh, what else? Changing direction, referring to opinions, yeah? When you are referring, when you want to say that the experts say this and this and that, uh, dealing with questions, and then the end, summarizing, final recommendations, thanking the audience, and inviting questions, all right? I think this, this table will be very, very handy to you, so you can copy and paste 
what you want to say and copy and use these in your presentations. That's all. Yes. So guys, do you have any questions now? Um, something that is not clear? Yes. Something that you would like to share with me? Thoughts? Hey class, do you have any questions? Or maybe you can write something that you mm. you are take you take away from these three sessions. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's been useful. No, it hasn't been useful. Why? Yes, yes. Why? Why not? Etc. Something that you would like to share. If you're shy, you can write it down on the chat box. You can write it down in your own language and then Gentry can translate mm, it for okay, me if you want. Okay. <laughs> if you feel that yeah, you yeah. don't want to speak English, mm -hmm. yeah, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Pfizer, okay. Yeah, all the lessons from you yeah, are very useful. Thank you very much, okay. Pfizer. Thank you. What about others from the three meetings? What do you think? Do you get a lot of experience from the opening of our presentations? But today, mm -hmm. uh, for the, the ends of our presentations, how to deliver the presentations well to the non-native language and also in public speaking of course yeah remember that english is not your um okay. your mother tongue so um my advice is practice 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 mm -hmm. use these phrases that i have just shown you and put them in your presentation yes and practice video record yourself um watch the recording and try to improve yes that's it. Practice, practice, practice. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. Le okay. Look, look, Raise your hand. Okay. You, you may speak now. Okay. Uh, for Miss Patricia, thank you very much for three weeks. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're uh, absolutely uh, maybe from four some student here this is the first time they learn with a native speaker and absolutely we are nervous confused but no problem the uh -huh. way you you show your presentation is very clear and uh, your tips is very useful and helpful um, thank you very much thank you and mm -hmm. because your uh your best experience. Um, I think I will be practice, practice, practice to be more good. <laughs> uh, the you. best presenter like you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. And also I'm very happy that you think these tips will help you in your future, in your career. Yes, yeah. uh, what, whatever you want to do in the future. So thank you. Here we have Desi. Yes, thank you. Um, Desi, Desi. Get better and better for speaking professional context. Thank you very much, Muhammad. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Connor, I know a little bit about body language. Yes, very good. Um, Solita, thank you, Miss. From here, we can learn more about uh, how to present better because the explanation is very useful. Salsabila, thank you, Miss Patricia, a lot and very useful knowledge. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm very happy now, um, and I hope yes, you can you can practice these tips um, as much as possible, so you can be excellent presenters. Yes. Uh, obviously, it takes time. Don't worry, it takes time. The first time, I'm sure you will be extremely nervous, but remember. Start fresh, posture, yeah. breathe in, breathe out, vocal warm up. Yeah, exactly. If you have also, if you have an exam, uh, 
this posture is good for you, yeah? Um, so everything that we have done is good for you, not only for presenting, but for any conversation that you can have, difficult or easy conversations that you can have now or in the future. So the best thing to remember, to reflect, observe yourself, evaluate, also evaluate the people's behavior, okay? It's very important. So if you say, oh, this person is not comfortable with me, then try to change your body language next time you are with this person, right? Okay, here we have more messages. Astrid, thank you very much, Mr. Chitty, for your knowledge that you give us for us. It's very helpful. I want to on my audio, but I'm still on my way. So, okay, right. Thank you, Astrid, that she was driving, I think. Uh, are you? It's very clear, Miss. And all the lessons from you are very useful from your materials and your tips and can improve my skill to be, pre yeah, to present better. So, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, good, 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 good. Um, next. The next three sessions, yes, are, we are going to talk about reading for academic purposes. Yes. Uh, so it will be totally different. Now it's speaking. So uh, reading for academic purposes will be more working collaboratively. Yes. Maybe you have to read something before coming to the session. So be aware of that. Um, and to work collaboratively, okay? So to work together. So we are going to work in breakout rooms as well. Yeah, um, so that's the idea, okay. Sefrian says, yeah. thanks a lot for everything, Miss. Not only we got to learn about all the materials, but we also improved our listening and speaking skills from this meeting. Thank you very much. Very, I'm very happy now. You made my day. Hmm. <laughs> Super, 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 super. Um, all right. Okay, that's all for me, Gentry. Yes. Yay, thank you, hmm? Patricia. That is, uh, this is the end for our class with, Mat with Patricia. And then for the A31, we came back to our class on Monday. Okay. And then for the B31, still on Friday, but at... 1, 1 p.m. also like this one. Yes. Uh, but for the next meeting, you are going to have this online classroom also, but with different topic, reading yeah. for profession, yeah, for mm -hmm. academic purposes. That is why, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The main point here, you should practice, not only you, me also should practice, 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 because we are not a native speaker. So that's why practice in order to have uh, in presenting something in front of many people in public speaking, we should relax. Yeah, there are so many points, the prices that are given from Patricia, you can use that one in order to make a good presentations. For exactly for your presentations yeah even even native speakers have to practice 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 okay mm -hmm. and also so... manage our time our body <laughs> language for the mm -hmm. verbal communications also because Absolutely. when we talk about um, uh, online or offline it different context and also different positions of our body right so when we see uh our audience in offline is different when we talk to the online one. Exactly, absolutely, absolutely. That's also, if we are presenting in our mother tongue, okay. it's easy for us to improvise if, you, if we forget about things. But if English is not our mother tongue, then we need to practice even more mm. to have everything structured ready, okay? Because... English is not our mother tongue. So that's why it's important. Okay. And I would I would like to um, read Selvi's message here. Thank you, Miss, for giving me a lot of knowledge. Sorry, we have been silent all the time. Uh, what if I ask always many are silent, but I'm very lucky to be able to give knowledge directly. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Very good. Very sweet messages. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, okay. okay.
So yeah, just uh, my three, the rule of three, remember, practice, practice, practice. This is the, mm. this is my message to you. Yeah. Um, practice, and the, practice, practice. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys. So uh, I'll see you next Friday. Yeah. With a different topic, reading for academic purposes. Um, and now, Gentry, I will send you the, the P, a PDF of my presentation okay. so you can oh, the deliver to everyone. And so you everyone can have the notes. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, thank you. you for the lot of experience and also the knowledge. For the thank for you. all, please use the prices that discuss in our three meetings okay mm -hmm. in order to open in the body of our presentations and then in to the to end our presentations also there are so many a lot of phrases that we can use mm -hmm. absolutely our powerful public speaking mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely okay guys well see you uh next friday see okay you. with another topic and okay. uh, have a good week Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Okay. Bye bye. bye bye. bye. Thank you. Good morning, Patricia. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, class. So that's why for A31, we move to Monday. Okay, for speaking for professional context. But for your class with Mem Sophie, it means that still like this one. Okay, on Friday at 1. But for B31, this is our regular class. Okay, regular class, it means that our schedule is 12.30 to 2 p.m. With our topic, back to our topic before the midterm, because for today we are on PIP or six meeting, for the PIP meeting, so that's why uh, for the next week, it means that we back to our regular schedule. Okay, we discuss on our WhatsApp group and also our Google Classroom platform. And then for the material for reading that will be delivered on your group with Mem Sopi, okay? No more question, class? Or do you have questions? Okay, we end our meeting today. Nice to meet you. Practice, practice, and practice for our speaking, okay? To be better in speaking in public places. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, ma'am. Practice, practice. Yes, I've got the point. Okay, bye bye, guys. See you next week. Assalamualaikum.